Okay, folks, we're back again to do another unboxing of comics for the shop this week. I'm going to start with this mailer from Penguin Random House, and that is all we have. Not the mailer, but all we got this week was uh, Penguin Random House, no Lunar. Um, because I think I did not meet the order minimum to get my comics shipped. Oh, well. The invoice. And this looked to be like the IDW stack. <laughs> yes. We've got My Little Pony, a camp big hoof. Big, <laughs> camp big hoof. Got a couple of those. And here's the cover B for Camp Big Hoof. And Star Trek Halloween. It's number one. Let's take a look inside. It should be interesting. Okay, there's that. Star Trek Halloween number one. Star Trek Defiant, number eight. And Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Uh, something I can't read that. Not going to try. Okay, that's number two. And we'll go on to the next group. Got several boxes here from Penguin Random House. Like I said, no limit. So, yep. Okay. Oh, well. And we've they've done this corner thing to me again. But, oh, that's not good. Okay, so we'll see what happens. Hold on, I might need a sharp object. Yeah, hold on. Sorry, my bad. Okay, fax material, invoice, revolutionary technology. Try it. Yeah, let's try it. All right. Dump them out in a stick. Worked out. Watch out for tape. Okay. Anyhow. Ghost Rider. Annual number one. The Hood's Infernal Halloween. Let's take a look inside since it's a number one. And that's the art. For the Ghost Rider Annual, number one. Some more copies. And next we have Doctor Strange, number eight. And here is Dark Droids. Uh, this is actually Bounty Hunters, Star Wars Bounty Hunters, number 39. Part of the Dark Droids arc. Here is Masters of the Universe, Forge, Forge of Destiny. Number two. Uh, X-Men, number 27. There should be more copies of that. Uh-oh, we got a little, little bit of dang action going on here. It may be a problem as we go further down. Marvel Gods, number one. With a ding on the corner. Oh, look, got corner ding here too. Great. I'm going to get all mad. Hate when that happens. Anyway, here's your art for Marvel Gods, number one. It's a thick one. And it's ten dollars nine ninety nine. Let's give the cover a tappy. Now, this has a pretty substantial cover stock on it, not card stock, but you know, not too bad. This one has that little little thing there. That's not too bad. But this copy for a ten dollar book that's unacceptable. And there's more damage coming up. Captain Marvel, Dark Tempest, 
Number four. Uh, you can see the, the corner ding there. X Force, number 45. Damaged. This one looks to be okay, so maybe we're out of the woods on the damage. Maybe it was, no, no, it's got a little bit of a corner thing there. I mean, I'll still sell that, but I don't like it. Um, here is Darth Vader, number 39. Again, part of the dark, dark droids. And we got a little corner ding. Unacceptable. And these might be okay. That one's got a little damage. Nothing too serious. Fantastic Four. Number 12. Damaged. Beautiful Alex Ross cover on this Fantastic Four, number 12. With its damage. Uh, let's see. Let's go through the stack here. These are for customers. Uh, these are all damaged. I think this one looks okay. That sucks. You know, there's no point in me doing this with these comics. If they're going to be damaged. We went through all that shit with Diamond for years of them doing that stuff. And, uh... Now Penguin's doing it. They were so good for a while. Now they're Diamond. Well, actually, Diamond doesn't even bother to use the second box anymore. Here's Red Goblin number nine. Is this a variant cover? Nope, that's regular cover. And that's got some spine damage down the spine. I don't know if it'll sell or not. I'll try to sell it. Uh, Black Panther number five. Let's check these. It looks like that... Damage, corner damage was just on some of the books there on in that section, so maybe some of them are okay. Uh, what is this? Immortal X-Men, number 16. These look all right. Here's a variant cover for Fantastic Four, number 12. That's a strange-looking variant. I'm not sure what's going on there. Is that the Human Torch? I certainly hope not. Uh, anyhow, Immortal Thor, number one. Oh, look, corner damage. This is the second printing with corner damage. Oh, it's got the big six ninety nine cover price. They're going to need to replace that. So if you're wondering what happens when these comics are damaged, um, it's not as bad as you might think. Uh, what happens is I call it in. Of course, Penguin actually has a phone. I can call it in or I can do it online, and they basically just replace them for free. Sometimes they want pictures, but not very often. Um, they kind of just take my word for it and uh, replace it. That's Star Wars High Republic, number one, Shadow uh, Shadows of Starlight. Uh, that one's got a little bit of damage on it, but I think that's acceptable. And it's number one, so let's take a look inside. Pretty good art. That's Miyota action. Moving on. Alien. Number one. An Alien annual number one. Also, $6 cover price. Uh, it feels a little thicker. No cover stock, just regular floppy paper. And there's a ding right there. Um, that's for a customer. I think he'll be okay with that. So we'll just go ahead and not worry about that one. Um, Strange Academy, Amazing Spider-Man, number one. I just got one copy of this. Uh, it looks to be in decent shape, but it is number one. So we'll take a look inside. There's your art for Strange Academy Amazing Spider-Man number one. If we can find something without ads all over it. That's what the art looks like. Let's move on to the next box. 
I'll just grab the ones closest. This one weighs very little. So there's probably not much in here. Now, if you notice, this is a bigger box. Um, we'll see how this is packaged. There's, I don't even see anything in here. Okay. So, the comics shipped you know, in this box inside of this box. You can't see those, but check this out. This box fits inside of this box. And if they put the paper all the way around, we'd probably be okay. But in this box, which is way bigger, they could put that little box, watch this. They could put the little box in this box. I'm getting all bent out of shape, camera's going. They could put that in there and have all kinds of room. I mean, in theory, it actually it's a little taller, but that kind of thing. But what was in the big box that would have protected the comics? This. This. They shipped this in a box by itself with a bunch of packing material. This one also doesn't weigh much. So let's see what's in this one. A bunch of packing material. There's literally nothing in this. Wait, 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 there's some revolutionary technology. And we have some posters. No, we have, yes, a few posters. Uh, um, Last Ronin, two. Saw that coming. That was very popular. They're not gonna let that go. They're gonna keep doing that. Uh, Ministry of Compliance. Revolutionary technology. Oh, you know. Oh, there's a bunch of posters. Notice these posters are not damaged at all. Except for that one. I just kind of creased it just a little bit. Uh, that's poster for God's number one. Poster for Superior Spider-Man Returns. We've got Carnage poster. Carnage number one poster. And Spider Boy number one. We're not going to take the time to look at those. We'll just go to this next box, which is kind of heavy, so maybe it's got comics in it. We'll see what's going on here. All their bundles. Okay. Yeah, well. Invoice. And uh, these are for the uh, Halloween comic trick or treat. Trick, trick, or, trick or read. Free comic for ages. What does that say? 12, 13 plus. There's a bundle of these. Uh, I'm assuming we're to give those out on Halloween. Oh, here's more. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Uh... Spidey and Amazing Friends. Trick or read. Spidey and his Amazing Friends. Uh, I'd prefer it if it was Iceman and Firestar, but whatever. Moon Knight. See that? Moon Knight. And Amazing Spider-Man. Zoom. Zoom out. I got all agitated and knocked the camera all around. Anyways, that's what was in that box. So, yeah. I'm still a little, uh, a little mad because of the damaged books. Um, anyway, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.